Hello Collective, this is Renee, welcome back. This is going to be a collective message, so if this resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, check back or check your other placements. Those messages may resonate with you. Not all collective, resonate, uh, collective readings are going to resonate at one time, but this is a timeless reading, so you can always catch this when it does resonate with you or when you see this is when it's meant for you right okay so let's get into it let's get some oracle messages for our collective then we'll go ahead and get into the tarot okay so we have I can't take it anymore. I think someone is about done. Someone is feeling really fed up in a situation. No. I'm scared of rejection. It is all too much. Wow. What's going on, collective? I feel like there's a lot of emotions going on. There's a lot of emotions going on with the signs this week anyway. Um, but I feel like someone is really feeling very overwhelmed. Someone may be feeling scared of rejection, scared of someone turning them down for a reason. I feel like you're going through a lot. Collective. Will this pain ever stop? Yeah. There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of things going on. I feel like you and your person may have really had things out. There's something that came out. It hurts so much. Yeah, I feel someone really feeling like they're really being like in this mental prison. Why do I feel that I don't know who I am anymore? Yeah, someone feels lost. Someone feels very emotionally drained. Is this you or your person collective? Give me more messages for the collective, please. I'm feeling like someone is really soul searching. Someone is really looking to find where they fit in in the world. Yeah, I can't make a decision. Someone is kind of caught between two decisions, I think. Someone is caught between maybe two people. There may be a three um, third party situation. Or things just aren't going right for some of you. Things are just really feeling very wrong. You know? Why do I deserve someone like you? Yeah, I feel like someone feels very unfulfilled. They feel like someone just isn't fulfilling their needs. Someone isn't doing their part. You know? I wish I could understand you. I feel like... You're trying to get your point across to a person because you feel like your your needs aren't being met, but they just aren't listening. They just want to feel the way that they feel. I feel very stubborn energy. Right? Someone is being very stubborn in their energy. Someone just don't want to listen. They don't want to hear how you're feeling. They just want to speak how they feel. Okay, what is the truth? I feel like some of you are waiting for the truth to come out. Some of you are waiting for something to revealed, to be revealed. We have the, will this ever change? And no, honey, this isn't going to change until you change it. Right? That's for you or your person. It's not going to change until you change it. Please do what's best for your heart. I feel like Spirit's trying to give you a message to that they're there for you. That they want to 
help guide you through what this is that you're going through, right? Someone's letting you know that you have to do the best for you. You have to be the best for you. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. I feel like someone's telling you that. So someone really wants to make changes to be a better person for you. But I feel like they don't know how to make the decision. They don't know where to go next. They don't know how to do this. I feel like they're like caught between this rock and this hard place. Like it's all too much. I don't know how to satisfy them. I don't know what to do. I feel like there's a lot of love and care here. But there's just so much going on. It could be that you've been with this person for a very long time. It could be that there's a lot of history with this person. Right? I feel like they know you deserve better. They know that your heart deserves so much better. I was hurt by you. So you may have did something or said something to hurt this person. Or maybe you just didn't listen to what they had to say. But I feel like they're very hurt by something that you have did. Right? Or something that you didn't do. I, I'm really feeling like this person is holding on to a lot. They're holding on to pain. Maybe even past pain. Maybe even pain from a childhood. Or pain that they went through in other relationships. These feelings are eating me alive. Yeah, I feel like this person is really, really going through it. They're really going through it. You know, they can't get past it. Yeah, the passion I feel is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. Yeah, this person is feeling a lot. It could be karma that they're getting. You know, they, they could be feeling these feelings because this is the way they made you feel. Right? Um, but I feel like this person is feeling a lot. They're very emotional. Um, I'm getting that there may have been someone blocked or you may have blocked this person. You may not have spoken with them. Um, and now they're just sitting in their feelings. They're just really overwhelmed and feeling like battered and bruised. Don't put up with my BS. Right? They know they put you through it, collective. They know they put you through it, right? Don't put up with my BS. They're like, why do I deserve you? Why do I deserve someone like you? Why do you put up with me? Right? They already know this. They already feel like they're not pulling their own weight. Right? But they, they're like oh, still wanting you to change your mind. Still wanting to keep hold of you in some way, shape, or fashion. And it's like, I, I feel like you're done, Collective. I feel like you've had enough. You know? Sex with you. Yeah, I feel like all this person can think about is sex with you. I feel like the sex probably was very good and that's kind of how they feel like they can hold on to you is by the sex um there there could be a very strong sexual attraction to this person very strong ke sexual chemistry um but i feel like they feel like it you know everything all the emotions just don't matter as long as the sex is good and it's like hmm you know, things are, you know, need to be emotionally fulfilled. It's not just about sex. And I feel like, you know, um, this person may not see it that way. They, they feel like sex with you is going to bring you back together. Or sex with you one more time is going to make everything right. Right? But I don't know if that's the deal. The way have, I have treated you was wrong. Yeah. You can't just treat someone wrong and feel like sex is going to save the marriage or save the relationship or, you know, work things out. And that's just not the way it goes. 
even with a relationship, even if there's sexual chemistry, there still has to be some kind of emotional chemistry and an emotional bond to even be sexually fulfilled with the person. You know, it's not always about sex. And I feel like they know that they treated you wrong, collective. They know. They know this. So now they're wondering how they can get into this. Look at all this pain. All this is pain. This person is in a very deep emotional pain because they feel like they've really done it this time. They've lost you. You know, you are so different from everyone around me. And they know that you're unique. They know that you're special. They get that. You know, that's the reason why they feel so deeply now because they feel like you're rejecting them. Like they have no chance to get you back, collective. Right? So th now they're in their feelings. Now they're like, you know, what can I do now? Maybe if I offer to have sex or maybe if I can get them to have sex with me, you know, everything will be good. Everything will be great. No, that's not the answer. You know, you have to be emotionally fulfilled. You have to have your needs met. And I feel like your needs haven't been met for a while the way that this person is going on. Your needs have been like pushed to the side while their needs are being fulfilled. And now I feel like they're going without their needs being fulfilled. So now they're like all up in their feelings, feeling like, you know, oh, woe is me. What am I supposed to do now? You know? Give me more messages for the collective. Give me some more messages for the collective. What else does this person want to say? It's crazy. I wish I could be a different person. I, I feel, I really feel like this person has went through some kind of generational trauma, some kind of childhood trauma that has put them into this predicament, that has put this them into this situation you know I feel like this person is holding on to a lot of pain and expecting you to heal them but I feel like they're taking out all of their aggression out on you because you can't heal them they have to heal themselves right what else do we need to say to the collective spirit this love is crazy this person is madly in love with you. They're madly in love with you. That's the reason why they're in so much pain. But even though they love you, Collective, they don't know how to treat you. They don't know how to put your needs above anything else. They don't know how to put your needs above their own. You know, I feel like this person may not be capable of doing that. Okay, I'm stuck in visions of us together. Yeah, this person is totally in their thoughts. They're totally thinking. They're thinking about you, you know. They're thinking about, you know, memories. They're like stuck in the past. Could be good or bad memories. They're just stuck in memories, you know. Maybe they're stuck in all the things that you did wrong in the relationship or every flaw that you have. But I feel like their visions are stuck, you know, but they still see you together. They still see you hanging on, but that they're seeing everything that you've done wrong and not seeing anything that they've done wrong, right? That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. It's a very stubborn energy. I wish I could be fully honest with you. Yeah, I feel like this person has something that they need to get off of their chest they have something that they need to say and maybe they're not able to say it um i feel like this person has a lot more flaws than you think um they have a lot more secrets than they let on um and i feel like they throw your stuff up at you because they have way more than you right and i feel like their secrets are like huge big right but there's definitely something that they want to be honest with you about they want to have this discussion but I'm not sure if you want to I'm not sure if you have the need to I can't handle your love okay and I feel like this is 
uh, a lot of your energy when I can't handle your love. I feel like it's a lot of your energy because I feel like this person may love you. They may love you like crazy, but you feel like this just doesn't feel like love. This just doesn't feel, you know, like you love me. This feels like you hate me at times or you really want to destroy me. You want to, you know, take down my self-esteem. And I feel like this person really gaslights you. You know, when they're arguing or when they do. Yeah, see, look, I long for your kiss. I feel like this person really gaslights you. They're really in their emotions. They're really feeling some sort of way, right? We're going to take one more and then we're going to get into the tarot. <clears throat> don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Okay, so I feel like you really treat this person very well. You really do a lot of things for this person. You, you really go out of your way to try to make this person happy. And that they, they know that you're doing way too much. They know that they're not offering you the same amount of care, love, and, you know, just tenderness that you're offering them. Because I feel like collective, you like go way beyond when it comes to taking care of this person. And I feel like they know that, but I also feel like they expect that. Right? They they expect that and so much more. Because I feel like even with all the things that you do, it's still not enough. Right? It's still not enough. Even though they know they don't deserve everything that you do for them. But it's still not enough. You know? How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? You know? So yeah, someone is is really in their feelings here. They really feel like, I don't know why you even care about me. I don't know why you even um, see that situation, you know. Um, but I feel like it's just crazy. They wish they could be a different person. They really do, you know. But... <laughs> It's so crazy collective. But they know, you know, they know they need to be a different person. They know they need to see things from a different point of view, you know. But they also know that you need to do the best you can for your heart. You need to put yourself first, right? You need to put yourself first. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Let's get into a message for the collective. Give me the message the collective needs to hear right now about love, relationship, romance. Give me the message right now, please. Messages for the collective. Okay, you have the devil in reverse. This could definitely be a Capricorn energy. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Lots of reverse energy here. The Ace of Swords. The Eight of Swords. And the Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like this person, this person that you're thinking about, they're deep in thoughts. They're thinking about you very strongly. But this person is very stubborn. They're caught in their ways. There's something blocking them. I really feel like it's a lot of childhood trauma that's kind of holding them back from releasing pain. Just straight pain, right? There, there's something going on there. It could be addiction. It could be some kind of uh, bondage that they're doing um, that's holding them some kind of sexual addiction, some kind of drug addiction, alcohol. Um, but I really feel like this person doesn't want to change. They don't want to change. They don't want to move forward. They want to stay exactly in the energy that they are. They're stuck. This person is stuck. 
but they're caught up in their feelings. They're thinking a lot. There may be a lot of things that they want to get off of their chest. I really feel like with this person, they may do all the talking and expect you to listen, right? I feel like this person has a lot to say. They have a lot of words, you know, and I feel like your energy is pushing you away. It's pushing you away. It, you, you're building up these walls. You're building up these defenses because you see that this person isn't going to change. They're not going anywhere. You know, they're not in any kind, kind of movement. If anything, they're in backwards movement. You know, this person may like to bring up the past a whole lot. Okay. This person may live in the past a whole lot. Right. And I feel like, you know, you're feeling very blocked, very guarded, very defensive. You're feeling very unappreciated, unfulfilled. You're just caught up in your feelings. You're thinking about, you know, this aha, you know, this person is really manipulating me. They are really gaslighting me. You know, this person may really, I, I, I can't say I don't think that this person really realizes what they're doing because I feel like they do it so much. They don't even think about it. They just go straight into the manipulation, straight into cutting you down to make them feel better, you know, um, but I feel like this person just don't want to change. They're stuck in their ways. You know, there's a lot of very stubborn energy here. And, you know, there's not going to be any forward, forward movement until they get some kind of therapy or, you know, something, something happens with this situation. Spirit, give me a message. Why is the devil in reverse and the will of fortune in reverse? The devil in reverse, that could be definitely Capricorn energy. The Wheel of Fortune, that could definitely be Pisces. You know, we have air signs here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And we also have Cups, you know. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Hmm. Give me a message. Why is the devil in reverse and the will of fortune in reverse? Why is the devil in reverse and the will of fortune in reverse spirit? Because the queen of pentacles is in reverse. Look at all these reversals. If you notice, their side is totally reversed. Your side is upright. You're trying to hold it together. You know? But this person is very unstable. This person really isn't stable at all, you know, they're just looking for comfort, you know, they, they just don't have it together at the moment, they don't have what they need, and so they may be putting that, reflecting it on you, okay, um, because they're, they're in this totally reversed energy, totally reversed, totally negative, you're over here in this, in this upright energy, trying to hold it together, Trying to keep everything, you know, trying to protect yourself, protect your energy. And, you know, they're they're just not supportive. They're not supportive. They're not stable, you know. And I feel like they may look for you to make them stable, you know. But there's definitely a conversation that needs to be had. There's definitely conversation that's going to be happening. You know, even if this person is doing all the talking and you're like doing the listening, there's communication here. Strong communication, right? Give me a message. Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay. They, now don't get me wrong, collective. I feel like this person really feels like they could be, they could be a different person they feel like they could be making the changes they they want to but they don't know how they don't know where to start they don't know what the first step would be 
you know. But they have all the tools that they need to make the first step. They're just they're just lacking on that. They they just lack the stability. Maybe they procrastinate, you know, but they're let's see. Spirit, give me a message. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? The King of Cups. This person is really deep in their feelings. Deep in their feelings. Deep in their emotions. Right? There's some choices that this person needs to make. There's some very strong choices. And I feel like there's a lot of conflict during this situation. They're just not able to move forward. Right? They're not able to move on from whatever this conflict is. You know, I feel like this person needs to make the choices, needs to make a change, but they're not willing to make that difficult choice yet. They just want to be caught up in arguing, chaos, you know, because, you know, for some reason, they're letting their emotions get the best of them. They're letting their emotions get the best of them because they're deep in this denial of just how stubborn they're being. Right? I feel like this person is being very, very, very stubborn. You know, they don't want to change. Give me a message for the collective. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups here? Give me a message for the Eight of Swords and Four of Cups. A message for the Eight of Swords and Four of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're kind of done with it. You know... You're, you're not even heartbroken about the situation anymore, collective. You're just like, mm, it's another day in paradise, you know. I, I feel like you're kind of letting it roll off your back. But you're still sitting here feeling unfulfilled and feeling very unwanted and unreassured about the, the, the situation. You know, you're still deep in your thoughts, but you're like, trying to figure out where your happiness is going to, going to begin and when your pain is going to end you know I, I feel like there's a lot going on with you collective as well because you know you've come to accept this person the way that they are and you feel like you may be able to change them well you can't you can't change them you can't they're too they're too stubborn to change they're too set in their ways um, I feel like they have they have everything that they need to make a change, but they just won't, right? Give me a message for the collective. Why is the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, you're you're ready to get over this. You're ready to start this new. You're ready to just. Let it go. I, I feel like you're ready to just let it all go. I feel like that's the reason why your person is in so much pain. Because they know that you're ready to let it go. They know that you're done. That you're just, you've had enough. Yeah, you know that this situation is not going to be successful. You're not going to have success with this person. This person has done too much to break your heart. And to make you feel so unhappy so unappreciated, so unwanted, right? Unfulfilled. So I, I feel like, yeah, you just want to let things go and just go your separate way. You just want to go on your own journey, you know? I feel like you're done. Like you've just had enough, okay? Wow. Yeah, I feel like you just had enough collective. You're ready to just let it go and just walk away. Eight of Cups. You feel like there's been enough that's been taken away from you. You know, you don't want anything else to be taken away. Because you feel like your heart is enough. You know, we have the hangman in reverse. So you're no longer thinking about this. You've already made your decision. You know. Um, you're not even. 
questioning what is best for you now because you already know. You already know this person feels the way that they feel, right? So, collective. Okay, let's get some more messages for the collective. And then I'm going to get you some oracle cards. Okay, what do we have for the collective? Believe in yourself, right? And it's time to start something new. It's time to go on a new journey. We have open your heart. Okay, um, you may even be taking a new job. Things, good things are just around the corner. And I, I feel like the Spirit is letting you know they're trying to uplift you. Okay, because they know that you've been through a lot. So, Spirit is letting you know, this is time to put you first. Believe in yourself. Open your heart. Good things are just around the corner. You know, you are going to be successful. It's time to start something new, you know. And, and I, I feel like, you know, that's the encouragement that Spirit is trying to give to you, right? So, let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and get, um, actually I'm going to do a Moonology first. Let's get a Moonology first. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we have Surrender to the Divine, right? One more, Spirit. And we have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, so something good is coming for you. You know, this is just one of these hurdles. Something good is coming for you, collective. Um, so hang tight, right? So now let's go ahead and get your, your angel number. What does the collective need to hear right now? What does the collective need to hear right now, please? Destiny, one, one, one. Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Okay? Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Your affirmation collective life is always happening for me i am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good okay so lean in your destiny is coming you know good things are coming i feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity you're going to get a lot of downloads during this time you know because you're emotionally receptive for receiving good things Okay, that's just karma. That's karma. Okay, so collective, hang tight. I hope this reading helps you and finds you. Um, if it resonates, please like and subscribe. I uh, hit that bell. Don't miss your girl. You know. Um, if it doesn't resonate, come back later. You know, you'll uh, take a look at your other placements and. My beautiful collective, many blessings to you, love and light.